Royal Kingdom Estate takes pride in its significant involvement in this year's Diaspora Africa Conference, where discussions on various sectors such as real estate, agriculture, and tech took place. The company generously sponsored the closing dinner of the three-day event hosting potential investors and key stakeholders from Ghana, Africa, and diaspora in the merchant sectors. Just a few housekeeping things. We do have a set menu, so we're going to get through the program and the servers are going to let you guys know it's about a couple courses drink. Once we're done with that, if you want to add to it, you're more than welcome to. But we have a welcome, we have a presentation, we have a networking plan. We're so excited. Um, we're really big about building resilient connections, so we really want to make this night a night to really follow up with people, get contact information, keep an open mind. There's a lot of great minds in this room. I just really want to acknowledge everybody for hanging in there and believing in this opportunity. Um, I, I, like you, took a chance, took a risk, and this was a faith move. And today, on the way here, I read something. I frequently go to these little sites when I'm doing, you know, in my pastime, and just kind of flip through to see what's going on. And it literally said, you are upon a destiny move. Now is the moment to step out in faith and do exactly what you've been dreaming of. Amen. This is your destiny. And I said, wow, I cannot believe I'm reading something that, you know, I've literally believed for many years is my destiny. And that is to be present here with you and to experience Africa at this level. Very few people can really experience it at this level. And we'll talk about what that means for the diaspora. <laughs> what that really means for the relationships that we're creating right here tonight. So thank you guys. Let's enjoy. beautiful gathering, you see all of these things, there's a lot of work that goes into this. Um, as a Ghanaian Liberian who is based in the U.S., me as a Angelique and a lot of others that attended this event in February. I came to Ghana in January, I did a mixer, I see Pearl and some few faces that supported me, and the feedback from that was, we want a conference, we want to do something over the belief in business. So I came back to the States, I called Angelique, I called SJ, I said, we have to come to Ghana. Amongst that, I was hit with many different roadblocks, being able to present the vision, the value proposition, why is it beneficial. So we were planning the event, we are planning the event, we're there, we have everything set in place, but at the last hour, there were some very major things we needed, and we were tied between getting down here from the States and also coordinating it on the ground. I was introduced to Mr. Angels by a very good friend of mine, and I started talking to him about the event. He had a lot of questions, and he came with a lot of solutions. And he was very passionate about the diaspora, his company, giving back. Um, I look at your Royal Kingdom Estate, not only are they a one-stop shop real estate solution, the philanthropic work that this organization does it warmed my heart. And when I spoke with Danny about what we were doing, he instantly supported. He didn't question. He brought suggestions. He made things better. And when I tell you guys we reached over, we reached out to over 200 companies. I tell I had one conversation with him 
And not only did he come help and support, he also came with feedback. Today, we went on a real estate tour. We went to Osu, we went to Abri, we went to um, Black Star Village. We had food, we had transportation. Everybody had questions. There are many, many so established, wonderful real estate developers in Ghana. But for me, as a person that's an international business development strategist, the stakeholders who I need to speak to, they need to understand that if they're going to invest in Ghana, their investments are going to be in the hands of somebody that's going to give them that customer service. And the team at Royal Kingdom Estate, from the time I arrived, picking me from the airport, picking up Angelique from the airport, funding and sponsoring this event and all the other things, from the bottom of my heart and from the organization, I say a sincere thank you. And we are very, very grateful. And without further ado, I must introduce the dynamic, the leader, the man, the vision, and the plan, Mr. Danny Angels. Our CEO and founder, Mr. Danny Angels, along with the capable senior management team, took turns in explaining the company's daily operations within their roles. Mr. Angel spoke on connecting the diaspora to good services in the real estate industry. All the accolades, and I'm just a little man here, right? Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, the continent is on the right. Are you plugging in? Do you have the peace of the motherland? If the answer is no, Contact Royal Kingdom Estate. <laughs> Royal Kingdom Estate is a perfect demonstration that it is possible in Africa. Before this continent can get to its rightful place, we need to connect the people of the diaspora. We are passionate about the people of the diaspora because they have the exposure, they have the resource, and if we can connect that with the resources back home, like people like Royal Kingdom Estate who have the local expertise, the local knowledge, then we can be able to elevate the conversation and take our continent to its rightful place. Why did we even enter into real estate? African diaspora, including Ghanaians that have left the continent, have been swindled. Anytime they acquire property, they can't even guarantee that whatever they are paying for, they are going to get it. So transparency, credibility. They were just looking for somebody to trust. Right now, our portfolio in the last few years has focused on what? The primary commodity in real estate. What is the primary commodity in real estate? Land. Without land, nobody can build infrastructure. In total, Royal Kingdom Estate owns about 1,000 plus acres across the country. Our head of engineering, Mr. Desmond, highlighted on architecture and our acquisition process. When it comes to architecture, one of the key things that we realized was that in our part of the world, we don't have people who focus on attention to it. We have to assemble a team at the office, and that team also on site to be doing or handling whatever we are doing. We have to come up with a decade, and within 11 months, we are able to come up with a decade apart. We are also well there when it comes to innovation. We are very good at managing space. The decade was built on a 50 feet by 50 feet land. We saw the, the future streaming to you moments ago. We now want to take it a step further. We are now doing a 10 floor apartment building. We have so many lands all across Greater Okra, the Eastern region, Porto region, Marseille, and so many places. We realize that communication is one of the key things that we need to be able to bring to bridge ourselves between us and our clients. The first thing we do with land acquisition, we take it to the lands, and we have made sure our lands are properly demarcated. After you have chosen your plot, within seven working days, you should have the representation. What dream do you have? What vision do you have when it comes to building your dream? You bring it onto the, the table, we have a team of architects, structural engineers, we sit onto the table. Bring your idea. I want four bedroom, five bedroom, seven bedroom. I want a three story, four story. Then we get to the drawing and say, We are going to do it with you. And this is the beautiful thing. We have been able to ensure that every client is assigned to somebody in the office. When you get to the site, we will be able to give you videos, let you know what is happening, explain the processes for you to understand what exactly we are doing with your product. 
We have a client that we have been able to complete this building. He has not been like, in, the, in the country for three years. He completed his building, he came down. He has every picture, every video to this project. He came down and he said, you guys are big. Our head of HR, Ms. Aiden, also touched on talent acquisition within our company. RKE is founded on excellence, with by excellence and passion. Our recruitment processes are quite tall. They are targeted at hiring talent that align with our mission, vision and values. We are also contributing immensely to solving the unemployment crisis in Ghana. We not only believe in hiring quality talent, but we also believe training and developing them, not only as a retention strategy, but also because it greatly impacts performance. I think we can confidently boast that we are one of the highest paid real estate companies in Ghana. And I know the next question will be, how do you know this? Because RKE has been around for over 10 years. We do our homework, we do our research, we know where to get information. Um, employee welfare is very key to us because it determines uh, a lot of things apart from performance and retention as well. Finally, our head of sales and marketing, Mr. Yamo, shared our projects and marketing services. When you look at a project like the future, there's a reason why we need the future. The future is going to be for mixed use. So we're going to have um, commercial use, residential. And it's going to be, you could even do maybe a hotelier services where you could, you know, rent it out or you could manage it for you. You could get your ROIs on time. That's why we named it the future. Also because of the contemporary design that we are looking at. There's a reason why when you get to Raj University on site, you realize that the dreams are really kept. We are very particular about SDG goals. 11, 13, 15, all of them, we take them into consideration. So, um, ecosystem, the eco-friendly environment, climate, all these things, we take them into consideration. And that is why even as part of our contract, we ensure that every client is supposed to be flat tree, at least one in your home, because we want to maintain the greenery or the scenery in the community. For Grey City, we are building, we are building communities within the city. So we have over 500 acres there, and we invite everyone to be a part of this story because with Great City, for instance, where you get we are trying to develop the whole place, which is going to compel government to also come there with infrastructure or businesses. Now, we work with brokers, we work with agents, we pay fat commissions. All in all, I'll say it's a good time to plug into the such a story of RKE. And it's not just about RKE, it's about developing or doing our bit of solving the housing deficit of Ghana is about doing our bit of contributing to the infrastructural development of Ghana and we are not looking at just Ghana, Ghana and beyond. On behalf of the Diaspora Africa Conference, um, we believe in celebrating excellence and I think to segue to that, there's always things you can focus on. We are all here because um, we're invested in the power of the diaspora. The theme of this conference was to build resilient connections in the diaspora. Danny, each and every one of you sitting here, all that you invested, me personally, I don't take it for a joke. We flew from miles, we drove throughout here, deploying your resources. It really goes a long way. And we just want to honor you for being a leader for taking the initiative. You took us to the sites today. We had our feet in the soil, the view, the decade. So we want to present you with this certificate of recognition to you and the entire Royal Kingdom of the State team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, before I go, it's very important I start on something. While we are all talking about racial discrimination, as Africans, we need to be mindful of tribalism. Tribalism is more dangerous than racial abuse. So let's think about it. Rich, it's very important for us to think about tribalism. Look at all the major countries in Africa. There's a deep crack because of tribalism. So as we are here today, Let's make sure that in our own small way, we try to 
educate our brothers and sisters that it doesn't matter where, who you, once you are black, we are one. We can only achieve greatness if we come together. If you are in Nigeria, it doesn't matter whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, or whatever, in Ghana, it doesn't matter. Anna, Anna is from uh, Anna. Anna, you are from Ashanti. I'm Ebe. But you're my best friend, isn't this? <laughs> Very best friend. So I think I just want to touch on that. Thank you so much for this award. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. We want to acknowledge the team, too. You guys were phenomenal today. And behind every major CEO, there is a team. And you guys really laid out the red carpet. You followed and you provided and you were true, truly present to the project. So thank you so much for being who you are for, for this project and this opportunity. We eagerly anticipate forging more impactful partnerships that will bring about the desired outcome we all aim for. This was an incredible gathering and we hope for more nights like these.